absolutely shocking. So let's get into it. Josh Allen, number 13 in the NFL top 100 list that just came out last night. They did number 20 through number one. And let me just start off by saying this. And I think anybody who has watched the game, Bills fan or not, would agree. There are not 12 players in the NFL better than Josh Allen currently. You'd, well, you'd be lucky to name me off five players better than Josh Allen right now, much less 12. But according to this list, he was the 13th best player in the NFL based on his peers' perspective. So as I look at this list, there was a few things that I took away from it. Here's one positive I take away from, the, from Josh Allen being snubbed out of the top 10. Finally, some humble pie this offseason. As I was just talking about, everything to do with this bill season was hype train a million miles an hour with no breaks. That's all it's been all offseason. You haven't heard a bad thing. All you've heard is Super Bowl favorites, Josh Allen MVP favorites. This team is as good as it gets, best roster, the list goes on and on. For the first time, I think all offseason, somebody, or a culmination of people rather, disagreed to some extent. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. I think that this tells us a lot. Josh Allen being at number 10 is telling based on the fact that Rodgers, Brady, and Mahomes are within the top 10. Allen still seems to be on the fringe, so to speak. Although he is considered to be one of the most dominant players in the league and ultimately one of the most fun to watch, he's must-see TV, he has yet to earn the respect the others have to the fullest extent. Now, of course, a lot of that has to do with the fact that he has not won a ring yet. The other three have. That's totally understandable. But when it comes to these lists, I don't think that that's all. I don't think that that's baked in. What I do think's baked in is the play that we've seen consistently from Mahomes, from Brady, from Rodgers. I mean, Brady, Rodgers, and Mahomes could have laid an egg last year. To me, they're still going to be in the top 10, especially Brady and Rodgers. The year prior for Allen from last year, it was a better year for Allen. I think we forget that because of what we were left with in the playoffs, and that was some of the best football we have ever seen at the quarterback position. The last thing we saw from Josh Allen last season was two consecutive games in the playoffs of some of the most dominant, incredible quarterback play we've seen. This list was made prior to the playoffs. This list tells me the way the players see these guys, the other three are baked into the top 10 as of right now. Allen is right there on the fringe, but there's there's things that still need to be proven. Maybe that is getting over that hump and winning the whole thing. Or maybe that's consistently showing dominant play. Because I'll tell you this, if Josh Allen can channel the type of play that he displayed in the playoffs, it will be 100% unarguable. Top five player, anybody who leaves him out of that top five should never have a vote in anything.